What's up everyone, it's the one Jame, and today we are playing in the early access event with Golgari Midrange. This deck is sweet and really powerful. We have a Beseech the Mirror build. It's a four mana sorcery with bargain. Search your library for a card, exile it face down, then shuffle. If this spell was bargained, you can cast the exiled card without paying its mana cost if its mana value is four or less. And then you put the exiled card in your hand if it wasn't cast this way. So we have like a wish board in our deck. We only play two Shieldreds because we can get it off Beseech the Mirror. We have Soren the Merciless, we can get off of it. For Rexian Obliterator, we can just get that off Beseech the Mirror if we're playing against a deck that Obliterator is a really good against. We have Glissa Sun Slayer, a Path of Peril to get off of our Beseech the Mirror. We have Liliana the Veil, Graveyard Trespasser. We also have Bushwhack that if we already have Obliterator in play, we can Beseech the Mirror for Bushwhack and destroy our opponent's board, make them, make them sacrifice it. We also have one Duress if we're playing against a control deck that we kind of need to just look at their hand real quick. We can Beseech the Mirror for Duress. We have Evolve Sleeper and Spiteful Hexmage as our one drops. And we have Lord Skitter's Blessing to equip to our, or to put the aura, the Wicked, the Wicked Roll on an Evolve Sleeper or Spiteful Hexmage. And it actually buffs the Hexmage to a 4-3 instead of being a 1-1 if you have Hexmage on turn one. We also have four copies of Mosswood Dread Knight with which with Shieldred the Apocalypse is an absolute nightmare. You draw a card and lose a life, then you gain two life with Shieldred, and then you can play it as a 3-2 Trampler, and then when it dies, on the next turn, you do it again, and then you keep doing it over and over again. We have four copies of Restless Cottage, which is a four mana to activate creature land that becomes a 4-4 that exiles a card from a graveyard and makes a food token, so it also helps to gain life. We also have Ashok Wicked Manipulator, which does have a lot of synergies in this deck, but we're not going to be paying any life to activate things with its uh, first ability. We have plus one to look at the top two cards of our library, exile one of them, put the other in our hand. So it is card advantage. We have a uh, minus two, which is create two black nightmare tokens with at the beginning of combat on your turn. If a card was put into exile this turn, put a plus one plus one counter on this creature. Notably, you can minus this two times and get four nightmares before Ashiok even dies. It goes to one loyalty after you minus this twice. And also, if you use the an adventure, it, it buffs the nightmare tokens because it gets exiled. If you use the Beseech the Mirror, it also exiles the card, so it also buffs the Ashiok. So there's a lot of different synergies with this that I really, really like. So um, it also says that... Um, I don't, I don't know if it says, it says if a card was put into exile this turn. It doesn't have to be put into exile from your own graveyard or anything like that. You can even exile your opponent's things. So that works with Graveyard Trespasser and Restless Cottage as well. So I really, really like that. So let's go ahead and get into the matches. Can't wait for you to see this deck in action. It all starts right now. Spike full hex page turn one. Turn two, can I draw a skitter blessing? Not a skitter blessing. Iron crag, oh no. That's I need to draw a land. Land or a Skitter Blessing, please. Oh, no! Rowan's Grim Search. Oh, look, a land. Becomes a 1 4, and then when it attacks, you drain 2. What you got, Elliot? Elliot always has the coolest Bruce. I love Muscle Dread Knight against decks like this. Are you sacrificing the Iron Crag? Or are they just adding the hand?
Yeah, not bargaining. Bushwhack. We can bushwhack for a land. Well, I kind of don't want to because I haven't seen a creature from them yet. Got the land anyway. Rewarded. Edgar. We can't bushwhack this. Beseech the mirror. Do we have any way to deal with Ash to deal with Edgar? We could just duress. I think I'm gonna go, I think I'm just gonna... Skitter Blessing though? I mean, we could Shieldred. We could Soren. I think I like Skitter Blessing though. Because I, I think I want draws against the matchup that's going to be controlly like this. Being able to cast Dread Knight at 2 and 2 is way better than casting a full 4 for underdog. Oh, oh, 100%. You just have to play two colors instead of one. Bubbles Nightmare, I have to discard a card? I'll discard Bushwhack. Uh, that is good for the the nightmare card is good for using for um for bargain. I wonder what they searched. Another skitter blessing. So we go land, beseech the mirror, bargain off. This for Jildred. Skitter blessing the Mosswood Dread Knight so they can't block it with the Restless, Restless, whatever it's called, Restless Fortress. And then, providing I don't die, I'm, I can go to one when the Restless Fortress attacks me if they kill Shieldred. So, if Shieldred doesn't die, we get double draws off Skitter Blessing and four more life. Two more, technically, since you lose a life every time you draw a card with Skitter Blessing. I wonder what he searched with the Beseech the Mirror. Was it like the Iron Crag? We can also gain life from Rustless Cottage. Oh! That's what he searched. I'm getting freaking bodied by this card. I should really play around that. Wow. Wait, are they just dead? The Restless Cottage? Uh, 
Oh. Nice. Blue or white, eh? This path of peril might be good. Extraction special. Oh, they wanted to bring that back. They thought I was going to block. All right, Path of Peril is no longer that good. Huh. Please don't have ossification. Kayla's reconstruction. Please get multiple two or one drops. Okay, that's fine by me. I think I want to draw a card. Let's attack first. Go for the throat's good. I really want to draw land. Wow, we're just really bad at this. Hello, hello. So how was Rockfelt? It's felt pretty good if our opponent doesn't play absolute best meta deck possible. What is this? I'm just gonna block it. Just because I want a Path Apparel. Also, you cast this turn at white and blue, cost X less for X is the amount of life you gain this turn. We drew the land. Oh, I get it. They're a lifelink deck. All right. I play world's best jump blocker. Another one? Please get two or less drops. Whiff and scoop. Nice. Keep this and hope they're playing an aggro deck. Okay, they're not playing an aggro deck. What do we do now if they're not playing aggro? Wait, maybe I have a chance? Draw a discard. Becomes a copy of a creature in a graveyard. I'll just go after it now. I don't want them to like spell pierce me or something. Ooh, that card's really good. It'd be a shame something happened to it. I also really don't want to kill this right now. I would rather just play out a threat right now. Just to be more mana efficient. I'm going to play Graveyard Trespasser out because it's likely that they have a way to deal with this. Like, 
go for the throat or something already? You'd rather save this go for the throat for their shieldred. This card is kind of like Rafine though. That it puts counters on it when you attack. See if they let's see if Hemhox kills the graveyard trespasser. Fencing. Plus minus X minus X, additional minus three minus three if you control the fairy. They discarded another messenger. Alright, let's play out the obliterator. Because if they counter this, we can beseech the mirror later on. Spell stutter. We can beseech the mirror later on when we can bargain it and get a um a shieldred off of it. I think shieldred's very good in this situation. They have a lot of Talon's messengers. That's three of them. Ooh, that card that card's the the card to do. Alright, let's see if they call two. I really would love to draw an untap land so I can go Glesso plus go for the throat. They called four. Have to kill this. And then I want to do this for a land. Perfect. We are getting demolished by Talon's Messenger, though. While well, their hand is gasoline, maybe they have a counterspell in hand as their only card left. I'm gonna do this, they're gonna counter it with uh, whatever card they have left. Because why would they discard a removal spell? Whoa. Really? Ashiok also has... Like, Beseech Samir works with Ashiok in two different ways. Oh, crap. Ashiok dies. Oh my god, what a top deck. Wow. The rest doesn't do anything. What can we beseech the mirror for? That actually does anything here. Like we have Path of Peril, but it doesn't kill Talion or Talion's messenger. Um. Soren make a flyer? I think we're just dead. That was a crazy top deck though. For the sake of all innocent part, my will. I bring my own. We're still just dead on board. Wow. Three drawn three fairy fencings, three talons messengers, and top deck talion with no cards in hand. Sure. I'm gonna play out cottage first because I want to play Dread Knight on turn two. It's just better than a Vol Sleeper. Training grounds. Oh, wow. I can't wait to see this.
Like, if Rona, Tolarian, Obliterator comes out, then I just lose. Jaren. Huh. Wanna draw a land? See what they do first. Perfect. So we put the Hex Mage, um, we put the Curse Roll on the Evolve Sleeper because it's a 1 1 anyway. My 1 mana 3 2. I got the Soul Con. Con Are they comboing me? Another training grounds? Oh my god. Oh no, they have 13 life. But they didn't have one mana left. Oh god, I need to get them to less than 13. Jesus Christ. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I can grow this once, right? Then we can beseech the mirror or just play Shieldred. I think I just play this. Why is my Shieldred just hanging out over here? Come on. That's the Shieldred. Uh, oh, they turned off the server. It's exactly that time where they turn off the server. Crap. Well, we're going to count this as a win. <laughs> Yeah, oh, the other streamers froze too. Okay, uh, we're gonna count this. This is a win. <laughs> All right, we can't even concede. Okay, so since the server is turned off right now, thank you guys for watching. Appreciate you hanging out, and uh, <laughs> oh my gosh, and the deck list is gonna be down in the description below for you to try this out for yourself once the new set comes out. Thank you for hanging out with the streamer event and early access, and I'll see you next time. And as always, peace.